everybody. Welcome back to the show, Tip the Tea. I'm your host, Angie E., where we talk about everything from motivation, inspiration, and of course, the tea. So tune in every Monday on YouTube. Now go grab your cups. Let's tip the tea. Today is, um, I have a very special guest here today. His go by the name of Mr. John Carlo Campos. He is the financial aid advisor here at IMS Broadcasting School. That's how I got my start. Thank God for them. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about his brand and what he do and even his position here. So let me introduce him. Hello, Mr. Carlo. How are you doing? Hello, Angie. I'm doing All right. well, Can yourself? I call you Carlo? Yeah, that's right. There, John's fine. It's John, fine. Oh, John. I'm, okay. John is there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, hello, Mr. John. How are you? It's I'm, I'm doing great. You. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. No thank problem. you so much. It's an honor to be here. Thank you. Thank you for coming mm -hmm. in or, you know, thank you for uh, just, just your diligence. Oh, I appreciate it. No problem. That. No problem. Anytime. Anytime. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I hear a little bit about um, you have a, po a podcasting. Yeah, I do. So it's in its infancy. So I did uh, a podcast for the first time last year for, uh, it's like a fantasy sports podcast, primarily football. Um, essentially what we do is we record once a week and then we give advice on uh, players and, you know, what to do and how to manage your team and things like that. Uh, it usually goes between 30 to 45 minutes um, to podcast. And I did it just as a, like a side thing. I was just doing with Among Friends, uh, mm. talking about our own fantasy football leagues. I'm really big into fantasy sports. Mm. And uh, some of my friends told me, hey, you should kind of branch out and, you know, make this a little bit bigger. And that's what we're working on this year. Wow, that's mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. So it's by being podcasting, do you film or kind of just no. broadcast? This is the okay. Yeah, it's primarily audio. Uh, okay. Now that I'm here at uh, IMS, I'm considering mm -hmm. doing the actual video and mm -hmm. uh, filming that way. Okay. Um, I think that would be uh, a great way to reach out to more people. Yeah. Um, obviously, sounds great um, when you can drive around and listen to it and in your vehicle. That's great. Um, but I feel okay. like um, I can also extrapolate that and, and turn it into some film. And I think uh, that might bring in some more viewers. Um, all right. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure it will. Mm -hmm. That sounds like, is it fun? It sounds fun. It is fun because I have the, uh, a, a wealth of knowledge about it and it's just kind of going to waste if I don't do it. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, I went to school for broadcast uh, journalism. Yeah, I went to the okay. University of Illinois um, okay. and uh, my career path kind of guided me different ways so I haven't really used my skills that I have. Okay. Uh, so now that I'm here and I'm around it all the time and I get to yes. spend time with uh, our students and, and uh, it's just something that I should definitely be doing. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that, that is a great way to continue to, you know, to keep you motivated motivated into your brand and, and, and what you, you know, what you went to school for, your title, that, and then plus doing something you like. Mm -hmm. That's fun. That even makes it even more fun to me. It is. It's a blast, actually. Yeah. It really is a blast. And, and it's just something great and uh, gives me the opportunity to cultivate relationships with our students and, and yeah. talk about things like that. And, mm -hmm. and who knows, you know, maybe I'll pick some students out uh, in the future and say, hey, you guys want to help with the podcast, have them on as guests and things like yes. that. Yes, mm -hmm. that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. What inspired you to do that? Like, Amazing. You know, since I was a child, I've always liked sports, um, and I've always had a knack for just, I guess, just talking. I talk a lot, <laughs> That's so good, it, you yeah. know, I put two and two together, and mm -hmm. uh, I went to school for journalism, and it just made a lot of sense, you know, to do it um, because I'm so passionate about sports. It's just something that I, I've continued to do, and, and and not doing it almost is illogical. You yeah. know, you know absolutely mm -hmm. wow that's amazing it, it just sounds so fun and it's different it's oh, yeah. something different Certainly. too I, because i haven't really heard of it yet oh yeah you know? so sure good. It's definitely something that's been coming up, I would say, since like 2010. You know, podcasts have really blown up lately over the last few years. Um, shows like the Joe Rogan uh, Experience and, and uh, different podcasts on CBS Radio and uh, Yahoo, and a bunch of different podcasts. Um, mm -hmm. It's definitely a different medium, and it's something that a lot of people are, are gearing more towards. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's something that I can definitely, uh, I want to, you know, throw my two cents in there and see, you know, how I fare in, in that kind of game. And, and just, mm -hmm. if nothing else, um, it's just knowledge that I have that I would like to share with other people. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like, because you do you do a lot. That's that's like you multitask. Oh yeah. Very well. well, and that's good because you're a financial advisor as well. Yes. Here at IMS. So how do you like balance that? Like, what do you? You know, you do your podcasting, and you also doing your professional mm -hmm. things. So, how do you like balance that? What do you do? Well, it's actually uh, it's a great <laughs> question. Actually, it, it's mm -hmm. it's it's actually not too difficult 
to, okay. to do. And, and I would love to be able to do a, a year-round podcast, you know, something maybe once or twice a week. Because I can talk about any sport, and there's different sports, different seasons. Yeah. Um, it's, it's not that hard to multitask, mm -hmm. being especially working here at uh, Illinois Media School. It being a media school, I'm able to, um, you know, come in and out of the different studios and things like that. And after um, a day of work, I can come in after work and then say, okay, well, now I'm going to be able to do this and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. And, and it's not too difficult to, to multitask, believe it or not. I'm, I can constantly surround myself around this, like, sports in general. If you ever walk into the office, you'll hear me listening. You'll see me listening to different like uh, sports radio talk shows and things like that. Um, most young men my age that are into sports are watching ESPN and the different yeah. talk shows and you know, <laughs> yeah. the Stephen A. Smiths and the Max Kellermans of the world. So uh, it's not too difficult to multitask when it's something that you're really passionate about and something that you love. You find yeah. time to make yeah. it happen. You do. Whatever it is in life, Absolutely. if you love something, you will make time for it. You will make time. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's a good. That's a good thought too. So um, you say it's kind of like it's kind of new. So how long have you? Uh, so I've been doing fantasy sports, uh, I want to say since I was in the fifth grade, uh, which huh, it's been a while now. Uh, I want to say I've been doing it since 2003, just about. Um, so since I was a little kid, one of my best friends growing up got into it and told me, hey, you know, we know a lot about sports. Let's do this. And uh, we did a few. Um, so what, what fantasy sports is, is this. You, yeah, you, I was going to ask yeah, you. Like, like, what I'll explain it to you. It's, 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 okay. it's not too difficult. Uh -huh. uh, depending on the sport, what you do is um, you, you draft the team. And what that means is there's a bunch of players in a pool. And then there's a bunch of different league members, and mm -hmm. each league member picks a player at a certain position. And how they do throughout the season is how your team does. So if those players perform well, then your team performs well. And you're going up against different members in the league. So pretend you have a team, I have a team, okay. and if, you're, if your quarterback does well and my quarterback does poorly, and we're going up against each other, you beat me. Oh. And I lose. And uh -huh. then week to week it changes. And it varies depending on the sport and depending on the positions and, mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, when I started, I was doing free leagues. I was, you know, 12, 13 years old. I didn't have any money <laughs> yet. And now as it's developed and um, I have a little bit of money now, I do money leagues. Uh, depending on the league, I take it a little more serious or less serious. Mm -hmm. Anywhere between $20 a league yeah. to $500 a league. Okay. So it's actually quite lucrative. Um, yes. You'd be surprised how much money there is. And there's... There's probably billions of dollars in fantasy sports, wow. to be quite honest with you. Amazing. Yeah, and recently they're legalizing gambling in the state of Illinois, which is the state yeah. that we live in. So it's going to definitely change the game. For Absolutely. Sure. For sure. Then you might have to teach me how to do Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, I'll give you the advice. You can tune into the podcast, hopefully, okay. and then you'll be able to catch on and, and, and listen there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you did kind of touch a little bit on how you got started in sure. this a little bit, too. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of touch on a little bit. Of, so what was your, like, greatest, ex did you ever, have you ever had a, a, a great experience and a bad experience in this? Uh, you know, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, a great experiences are when you make a call and you say, hey, this guy's going to have a great week, so on and so forth um, and you're right you know and then it's just really gratifying to know hey I knew something that other people didn't and things like that and it worked out in my benefit and I won this week and now I'm in a position to be able to succeed this year things like that um, a moment where I had something that wasn't so great is definitely when you make a call and you're like oh I'm gonna start this player or this player and then they play poorly and then you lose, and that's probably a downside and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I guess on a, on a grander scale, mm -hmm. um, when you work with somebody else, I've been in leagues, in fantasy leagues, where I work with another teammate and we, we run one team. Mm -hmm. And it's two different people kind of butting heads constantly. Mm -hmm. um, it's been to a point where, I don't want to say it fractures a relationship, but mm -hmm. you know, kind of like, hey, we lost because of you or we lost because of me, so yeah. on and so forth. And sometimes stuff like that happens. Mm -hmm. So I try to steer clear of having too many co-ed teams. Um, I run one with my girlfriend. She yeah. kind of lets me, you know, take control of it and lets me yeah. do my thing. And then if we lose, she blames it all on me because I was the one <laughs> running it. Um, but, yeah, there's there's a lot of variables and a lot of different things that could happen uh, and things like that. That's cool. Yeah. I would like to know more about that mm -hmm. and learn more about it because, mm -hmm. like I said, I would like to do so. – I like sports, too. Mm -hmm. You know, I just don't – I never heard of the fantasy sports, but I, I'm, I'm sure it sounds very interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a lot of fun. It's not too time-consuming. The mm -hmm. biggest – I guess the most time-consuming thing that you do is the initial – draft of the players and then after that there's like certain features on your cell phone because you can manage it on your cell phone where you push one button and it just sets up your lineup the most really? optimal lineup yes 
Yeah, you, it didn't used to be like that. Right. You used to do all your research and have to like manually do it. It's back in the day, and, and I'm in a lot of leagues where there's older gentlemen and older ladies in the, in the league where they've been doing it since like the late 80s, early 90s, since before I was born. Yeah, what they used to have to do was read the paper to see how this like the scores were and update everything manually. Mm -hmm. So let's say it's football season um, and you think you're winning, and you're like, oh, my team beat this team. You'd have mm -hmm. to go to the, like uh, USA Today or whatever newspaper people mm -hmm. use um, for that league or just in general. They'd have to look at the box score and see, hey, this person ran for this many yards or threw for this many yards. Oh, you know what? You actually lost. You know, so it used to be really uh, different, but now with the advent of technology and the internet and things like that, and cell phones and applications, it's a lot easier to run leagues and, and, and to manage teams. You could just click like two buttons and that's it. Hands that's off. It. Yeah, wow. it's pretty crazy. So let me ask you: Is it only just football, or do? You Oh, it's a great question. So, yeah. um, in general, there's all sports. Any sport you can think of, they usually have a fantasy league for it. There's soccer, there's football, basketball, baseball, hockey. I do the major sports, football, basketball, um, uh, baseball, um, hockey, uh, things like that, the major sports. Mm -hmm. um, those are the ones I'm pretty knowledgeable on, and I try to be as well-rounded as possible. And it's not just for fantasy purposes. It's just in general, I love, love, love sports. There isn't a day where I don't listen to sports talk radio or watch ESPN. Um, and I've always just been like that. Mm -hmm. So that's why I kind of got into it. I was like, well, I know all these things. Why not do it? You know, right. that's kind of how it happened. And like I said, it's lucrative. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I'm in uh, certain kinds of leagues where if I get lucky and I set up a lineup, Mm -hmm. It's called daily fantasy, mm -hmm. where you sign, you you set up your lineups daily, mm -hmm. and you could win millions of dollars. And I just say, hey, whatever it cost me a dollar to set up a lineup, why mm -hmm. not? Wow, mm -hmm. that is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's becoming more interesting to mm -hmm. <laughs> just listen to you. You, you never know. So you know, you amazing. might be. I might be walking through the halls one day and say, hey, Angie, today's my last day. I just won a million dollars last I night. Know, so. that's right. <laughs> and then, hey. and then you're gonna be like, I remember when you talked about it. So yes. you never know. You absolutely oh, never know. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow. So is it like different seasons? You do you know how like um like baseball have their season, basketball have a season, football have a season, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. Is that seasonal or is this just Yes. Oh, oh. It is, it is. There are some leagues where they're called keeper leagues where you keep a few players and mm -hmm. they carry over to the following year mm -hmm. and other leagues it, it constantly changes those are called redraft leagues where you constantly have a new player pool every year so when baseball season starts up we do a baseball draft and you pick baseball players and football mm -hmm. season's coming up um, I have a bunch of uh, fantasy football leagues coming up I want to say uh, most of my drafts are uh, at the end of August I have a few like the first weekend of September mm -hmm. uh, but yeah there's tons of different seasons and, and yeah. things like that so it's constantly changing constantly moving um, and it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun it sounds mm -hmm. like it wow so let me ask you this this is probably a rhetorical question mm -hmm. but I'm gonna ask you anyway mm -hmm. so is it like like do they have to do tryouts you know oh sure okay. uh, so you know, the tryout for me would be like what I see in preseason so before uh -huh. the season starts I do like you know the preseason games where like they do warm-up games kind of and that's to me is like a tryout I'll get to see who's doing what and if I see a certain running back or a certain quarterback getting the majority of the snaps or, or looking at a certain receiver more so if there's a quarterback passing the ball to a guy who's like new and he's getting the majority of the looks that's the tryout for me that tells me that tips me off like hey this person's going to be special this year and things like that. that. That's what a tryout would be in that in that format. Wow. Mm -hmm. so, so have you did any traveling for this or uh, no, do you not, plan on? <laughs> well, not necessarily. <laughs> what, what I have, well, it depends on what you consider traveling. I haven't gone anywhere special or anything doing it. Um, okay. I go around the Chicagoland area to do okay. like the different drafts initially because uh, there's different leagues with different people amongst different friends and mm -hmm. different groups. Um, so far, if I ever win big, there will be some traveling. That's I for know, sure. That's, that's right. That's for yes. Sure, yeah. So, it, so it's lot. It's a lot of leg work involved in it because um, you say you go around the Chicagoland area. That's why. Yeah. So no, I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so. You only do it once a year, depending on the league. I do a lot of leagues. Uh, I do more than like you know most people do. You'll most people you'll meet. You'll do like one, two, three, four leagues. Mm -hmm. I do like 11 football leagues, which is insane. Um, wow. Yeah, my girlfriend thinks I'm crazy because I do so many. <laughs> There's a few leagues I don't even tell her that I do because if uh -huh. she knew, she'd be like, are you crazy? You know, where are you spending all this money? Right. Um, but not to toot my own horn, I usually win a few. Mm. 
Mm. So that's why I keep doing it. If it, if it wasn't paying off, I wouldn't do it anymore. I know. Mm -hmm. it, it motivates you, oh, sort of. You for, know what I'm for saying? Sure. Inspire you. For sure. We don't want to win money. Come yeah, exactly. On, you exactly. Know what I'm it's, really, it's fun, too, though, honestly. Yeah, and it's, it's fun. It's a lot of yeah. fun. And I'm going to watch the games anyway. It gives me mm -hmm. some, like a rooting interest. So yeah. I'll be watching a Bears game, or you know, I'll be watching you know a, a Patriots game, and I'll be like, oh, that's my, that's my guy. I have him on my team. And it gives me something to root for when I don't have a team that's native to you know where I'm from. I'm from Chicago. Yeah. So I can watch a game from two different teams from a different part of the United States and then be interested in it because I have players that are in those games. That's good. That's mm -hmm. amazing. So do you kind of like get ideas from like watching different uh, mm -hmm. different sports? Do you get a, some type of... Yeah. You know, for, yeah, for sure. For sure. I've learned a lot just in general from sports. I've learned so much like about myself. Uh, I've learned how important... Um, I guess competition is. It's a motivating factor in a lot of ways to me. Um, it's taught me how to how to succeed in life, and it's also taught me how to fail in life and be okay with failure and be able to take failure and say, okay, well, I know that you know I couldn't jump that high or I couldn't run that fast today, mm -hmm. but tomorrow, you know, you better believe, you know, it's yes. going to be different. So I like that. Mm -hmm. I love your motivation. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, that. That is amazing. And a lot of people need that too. They mm -hmm. need to hear that. You mm -hmm. know, that's just like going through life struggles and stuff. You know, people need to hear, you know, something just that would just get them up and motivate them mm -hmm. and inspire them. Like, you can make it. Mm -hmm. You know, get up and, you know, start over again. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That, that Thanks. Is so I appreciate cool. that. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I do see you traveling, though. Oh, this. yeah. Hopefully, hopefully <laughs> yeah. soon. Hopefully soon yeah. it pays off. Uh, that's why, you know, the podcast is important. Um, to to start that and like I said it started like off as kind of like a gag type joke like okay well I'll just talk a little bit you know whatever and then people were like this is pretty good you know why don't you do more yeah. so you know I kind of format some of my my upcoming shows after some of the other shows that I watch and mm -hmm. you know um, you know you gotta borrow a little bit from everybody so mm -hmm. uh, so yeah yeah it's a lot of fun actually a lot of fun Wow. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you, which one do you like the best? Like football, basketball, or oh, it doesn't make That's a, a difference? That's a great question. <laughs> yeah. uh, I would say fantasy football is mm -hmm. my favorite. Uh, football's king. Yeah. Uh, it's just, you know, football's great. Mm -hmm. um, but my, my true passion, like sports-wise, just in general, is basketball. I grew up during the Jordan era and yeah. watching those Jordan Bulls me teams. Too, yeah. That's what made me fall in love with sports in general. Really? Yes. Watching Michael Jordan. Yep. Oh, uh, we would God. get up for all those games and watch all those games with my family, and my cousins yeah. would come over, and my friends, and, uh -huh. and those finals games. It's just something that's ingrained in my memory. I remember watching those games and like just feeling such joy, you know. I know, yeah, it was wasn't great. it? Mm -hmm. And it was fun. Too. Oh, I remember yeah. those days oh, back yeah. then. I'm kind of like, I'm a Jordan fan too, you know, but, mm -hmm. you know, just watching uh, the Bulls. Actually, I'm a Chicago fan, period. Oh, yeah, same. I love anything, hockey, uh, basketball, football, whatever. Mm -hmm. I love Chicago. Mm -hmm. That's my kind of town. Same, same. Mm -hmm. I definitely love the city that, that yes. I'm from, for yeah. sure. For that's sure. good. Mm -hmm. That's good. But okay, don't forgive me when you grow, oh, when you grow up Trust and you start traveling Trust and all me, I'll that say stuff. This is where it all starts. Right. <laughs> right. Don't forget about Tip the Team. Nope, <laughs> that is amazing. I am so uh, proud of you, and oh, I'm, I'm you. happy for you. And I really wish you know, wish you really well, you know, you. throughout this it. journey. You know. And so we're gonna go into a commercial, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't hold that. I mean, hold that thought. We'll be, we'll be right back. Uh, we're going to go on to a commercial. You don't want to miss this. What's coming up next? He's going to tell you everything, okay? Don't want to miss it. Don't touch that dial. This is Tip to Tea with Angie E. See you back in a minute. Hello, everyone. This is Angie E. with Tip to Tea. If you or anyone you know in the Chicago land area and you would like to come out to promote your brand, network, or even if you have an interesting topic you would like to discuss, come on out and be my special guest. Let's tip the tea. For more details about the show, you can go to my YouTube channel, type in my name, Angela Eskridge, and leave me a comment and I'll get back with you. And you can also catch up on all the previous episodes. So come on out. Let's tip the tea. I'm Angie E. See you soon. Hi, my name is Marla Redrick and I'm with World Financial Group. We're a division of Transamerica World Financial Services. My name is Jeff King. I'm an associate also with World Financial Group. And if you're an entrepreneur and you want to talk about your business here with Angie E, she'd be happy to have you as well. Super excited. She's a lot of fun and you have a great time and get an opportunity to uh, talk about your brand. So come on out, check her out on YouTube. Angie E on Tip the Tea. Hello everyone, I'm Carol Coleman. I'm on the set with Tip the Tea with Angie E. If you want to come on as a special guest, leave a comment below. Come on on the show with Angie E and Tip the Tea. Okay. Also, I am a mental health supervisor. If you need any help, 
if you're just thinking about it, if you're just thinking about a crisis, please call 1-877-964-1245. They can get you all the help you need. Come on. You don't suffer alone. Hey, I'm Will Sutton, and I'm on Angie E. Tip the T. You can check me out on Tuesdays from 2 to 3 p.m. at Chicago Sports Town Network, and that is every Tuesday, 2 to 3 p.m., or you can follow my Facebook page at William H. Sutton III, or you can follow my Instagram at Sutton Sports, that is with a Z and not an S, that is S-U-T-T-O-N, sports with a Z and not an S. Welcome back to the show, Tip to Tea. I'm your host, Angie E. We have a special guest on today, Mr. John Carlo. He talking about his podcast, and it's very, very interesting. We left off with the question about, uh, what was it? <laughs> we were talking about um, traveling. Traveling, and yes. You're going to be traveling yes. with this. I, and I'm like, man, that's exciting. I'm excited for you. Thank you. Thank you. Because I do see you traveling all over the world doing Thank this. Thank you. This hopefully. Yeah. You know, hopefully if it blows up, and by blowing up, I mean, you know, I get enough uh, subscribers to this new podcast and enough people um, you know that want to hear more information about it and, and that are interested in what I'm able to provide um, mm -hmm. then hopefully there is some traveling you never know you just never know right now it's really local it's just among mm -hmm. friends mm -hmm. but um, some of the more popular ones just to give you an example um, they host like live events at, like mm -hmm. different like auditoriums throughout the nation mm -hmm. um, and things like that and I would love to be able to get to that size uh, who knows if I do or don't but um, that's the kind of traveling that will be involved or if I do really well in a, a specific league or, mm -hmm. or like a, one of some of the big money leagues that are out there, mm -hmm. um, a lot of times they'll say, okay, well, come out to the game. You know, this is, you know, mm -hmm. come out to do this, come out to do that, and, mm -hmm. or be a guest on another show, things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's a great way to promote oh, a network, too. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. They always say it's not what you know, it's who you know. It's so. who you know, hey, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I believe that saying, too. Mm -hmm. yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, definitely. and it is, it is so true. So, like, um, do you do like um, events? Like, have you started doing that yet? Like, if you do events sure. and then people have you to come over and say, "Hey, why don't you, you know, let's get into, you know." So this. I haven't specifically, to be quite honest with you. Um, I graduated just a few years ago from the University of Illinois. Um, well, so I have Thank you. Um, I haven't done so many, like, too many events, but it's definitely something that I'd be interested in doing. And, and like I said, it's in the early stages of the podcast. So in time, hopefully, that's something that I do. And hopefully, working with other podcasters is something that I would do. Something like this, you know, something. Yeah. Or working with other shows and and other people in the industry would be something that I'd be open to and always interested in. Yeah. Um, and then uh, you never know where it goes from there. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if this is the right question to ask, but do you think you'll become a vendor one day? You know, like at some, you know, big time, you know, uh, cookouts and you know how people have their booths and stuff mm -hmm. set up? Do you think that would be something that's you know, interesting? Who knows? Um, some of the people that I follow, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, they do that um, mm -hmm. where they provide their content for free for the most part but mm -hmm. prior to like the drafts which is the beginning of the seasons mm -hmm. they have like uh like manuscripts or what they call manifestos mm -hmm. uh, which is like a like um, a breakdown of like a, a big uh, pool of players which is 300 players or 500 players mm -hmm. and they have individual breakdowns um, a lot of times if you go to certain like stores or whatever walgreens or any bookstore you'll mm -hmm. see magazines and like the magazines will have breakdowns of everybody mm -hmm. um, i guess that's what i would would be selling um, yeah things like that or if I make it big enough and I you know partner with um, specific companies I can make applications like phone apps yeah. you know something like that maybe I catch on with uh, another company and, and, and that's what would be sold because usually the contents for free and, and, and that's what you want you know it, You'll get paid through different other revenue streams, like like advertisements is how you'll wow. get paid and how you make the money mm -hmm. uh, for the most part. Um, and if you make it big enough, that's that's kind of the way you'd go. I wouldn't necessarily say you're vending too much, but there, there are some avenues to do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about, like, have you ever thought about writing a book about it? You know, in general, just writing a book I've thought about. Not necessarily yeah. about fantasy sports. Just uh, writing a just book. Just writing a book yeah. in general. Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's something that would interest me. Yeah, I'm definitely a writer. That's why I went to school for journalism. Mm -hmm. um, it just happened to be broadcast that I went towards yes. um, but journalism in general I've always enjoyed writing very much yeah mm -hmm. well you can join my book club I, <laughs> hey. I am uh, I have a book coming out soon too that's uh, awesome what's the book I'm, called it's grape juice and chili sauce oh nice that's awesome what's yes. it about it's motivation and inspiration oh. just like the show okay yes, great it's a very good great. book and it's about my life story but okay. I have different characters playing me <laughs> it's, okay. it's a very interesting book it'll be out real soon okay gotcha okay. when it's out please let me know I'd love to read it absolutely I definitely it. will I think you'll like it too. thanks and as long as I get an autograph copy please. exactly 
absolutely. <laughs> no, I, I, absolutely you will. So I want to ask you this, too, because I know you have a professional life as well. So how do you balance um, your, your professional life uh, along with your personal life? Sure, that's a really great question, really deep question, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's not too difficult as long as you enjoy what it is you do. Absolutely. I really enjoy what I do. My, my whole thing, as far as being a financial aid advisor here at IMS, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, I, I didn't wake up one day and say, hey, I want to be a financial aid advisor. Yeah. You know, I did wake up one day and said, I have this strong feeling of wanting to help people. Oh. Um, so uh, I was a first generation uh, Mexican American here. Mm -hmm. um, I, none of my family members had ever gone to college yeah. or completed college. Uh -huh. And the college process to me was really daunting. And, and, and you know, it instilled a lot of like fear and, and negative emotions in me because nobody really knew in my family how to do it. Yeah. So paying for school was really intimidating to me. Yeah. And by that, um, I, I learned a lot. As soon as I graduated college, um, I found an opportunity to be a financial aid advisor and learn the ropes and learn all the things that I didn't know about student loans and, 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 and just, I would say, you know, the academic process and, and whatnot. So I learned it, and I told myself, well, you know what? I, I now know this information. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use it. I'm going to try to help people and teach them what I didn't know. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of how I, I, fell, I, I fell into it, for certain. I fell into mm -hmm. it, but I enjoy it uh, very much so. You know, mm -hmm. I, I used to wait tables, and I didn't really enjoy that too much. No, right? No, yeah. I didn't enjoy that too much. Um, mm -hmm. But definitely helping people with the financial aid, uh, wow. uh, definitely enjoy that. And on top of that, being able to work at a media school, Wow. is also incredible for me. It's like mm -hmm. two different passions of mine, you know, intertwined. Um, mm -hmm. I couldn't ask for anything more, to be quite honest with you. So balancing, mm -hmm. to bring it all back full circle, balancing mm -hmm. the personal life and the work life isn't too difficult for me. Mm -hmm. You know, thank God, it's not too difficult for me. It used to be as I was growing up because I just, I was at two different ends of the spectrum. Yeah. Didn't know what I wanted to do. And I was doing, I was in a career path that I didn't enjoy. Yeah. So it was really difficult balancing it then. But now it's not. It's really not. You know, you wake mm -hmm. up every Every day, looking forward to going to wow. work and, and looking forward to um, those things, and, and also a lot of it has to do with the people you surround yourself with. Also, yes, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm happy for you. Thank you, I appreciate it's it. It's nothing like I can only imagine just going to a job that you absolutely love. Oh yes, you know <clears throat> that is amazing. So I want to ask you too. So, what is your ultimate goal for both for your personal, I mean, your professional life and your mm -hmm. um, podcasting? So, what what do you see yourself? What is your ultimate goal? You know, in your sure. life for your career. Sure. So, <laughs> I would say for my professional life, my ultimate goal is to continue to just move up the professional ladder. Um, mm -hmm. Don't limit myself ever. Yes. Um, I definitely want to keep, just keep growing. Mm -hmm. Take on more tasks. Yes. Um, you know that. I don't know exactly where that's going to take me, but mm -hmm. as long as I'm constantly improving, I don't see there being a limiting factor. I never want to put a ceiling on where I could grow. You know, I always, now. yeah, I always want to keep watering, you know, the, the seeds and and, mm -hmm. and see what can come of that. Yes. Um, and as long as I continue down that path, then there's no no limit to what can be um, achieved. Um, mm -hmm. From the podcasting standpoint, um, mm -hmm. you know, it started off as something that I was just doing on the side as fun. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to do it to a point where it's readily available to everyone. Wow. Um, and, and I want to be able to get to a point where hopefully there, there's some financial gain from it. But if there isn't, that's completely fine with me because okay. it's not my primary source of income. You know what I mean? Right, I understand. So it's just yeah. a side thing that I would be doing. Um, Honestly, and it's something that I would enjoy and find a lot of enjoyment in. Yeah, and like you said, it just so happened to be fun. Mm -hmm, exactly. And who doesn't want to make money doing something that's fun exactly. and that they love to exactly. do? Wow, that's a dream. Mm -hmm, exactly <laughs> that's a dream correct. For everyone. Exactly I, correct. I know for me, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I know I love this. This is my dream. Mm -hmm. I love doing this. It's well, you can tell. Everything. You can yeah. tell that this is something that you enjoy. Really? Definitely. Yes, definitely. How? Uh, you know, you could just tell. You know, the excitement that you carry, the way you carry yourself, yeah. um, and, and the way that you. You handle you know the questions that you ask and things like that and you yeah. can definitely tell something that you find and it's a passion of yours and definitely something that you find enjoyment I do mm -hmm. I really do and I pray that God will take this 
I mean, it's like you said, there's no limit. Mm -hmm. I just hope you take it all the way. You know Definitely. what I'm saying? And I would love to do that. I would be right there. I would love to do this. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I love helping people as well, especially if they can come and promote their brands. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, you know, um, people doesn't have a platform to promote themselves and to promote what they do. So that was, that's what God gave me. He said, hey, let them come on the show. It's not about Angela. It's about them. So I said, hey, I love that. I love the idea. Mm -hmm. so, no, it's good. And it's good to have that outreach because you never know, you know, maybe, you know, one day some of the people that you promoted, mm -hmm. one of them makes it big and they're like, oh, you know, I know this person who yeah. did this or, you know, you just never know. And, yeah. and it's, it's great to do that and to be able to help people. It's just, yeah. it gives you a really strong feeling inside, you know, something that's that's special inside and I completely connect with you when, when you say stuff like that I, yeah. I agree completely thank you absolutely um, so um, what do you see yourself in the next five years for your uh, podcasting and also um, maybe you know with your professional career sure. as well sure so in five years hopefully um, I've moved up the, um, the professional ladder hopefully by then mm -hmm. um, not just doing financial aid, hopefully, on this campus, hopefully doing a little bit more on this campus. It's hmm. um, good. You know, I, I definitely want to learn all aspects of, of the education uh, process here. Yeah. Um, I feel like I have a good grasp of how things work um, in an education, um, but definitely continuing to grow. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have a specific position that I could, you know, throw out there because yeah. um, you just never know. But mm -hmm. um, definitely just being able to to move up the ladder uh, for certain. Um, mm -hmm. And then in five years in the podcasting game, I would say just having my podcast on um, platforms like Spotify and mm. Stitcher and things like that, yes. where revenue streams, you know, help, yes. you know. Oh, I love bring that. Bring in a little bit of money, hopefully. Yeah. Um, and if it doesn't, that's okay. But that's yeah. what I would like, something that, that like I have family all over. Um, that You know, my family in California could just tune in and be like, hey, I'm going to listen today. You I know, know right? Great. Yeah, yeah that's great. amazing. Maybe yeah, a studio at home, too. Yeah. That would be great, too, to be able to I mean, run everything out of you know my house. That would be great, too. Mm, that's amazing. That will be mm -hmm. really, really wonderful. Um, I know my grandmother used to always tell me when, we, when as a kid, she um, she was a businesswoman, um, like my grandfather. And... Um, uh, they would tell us all the time, um, I didn't understand when we was kids, but she said, always have at least a four or five streams of revenue. And I'm like, what? You know, didn't know mm -hmm. what that meant. But now as I became an adult, I'm like, oh, wow, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it does. You know, mm -hmm. always have some type of, you know, like you, like you said, streams of, of income. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's amazing. Who would want to do that? Yeah, you know what definitely. I'm saying? That definitely. makes a lot of sense. You don't completely. have to depend on just one set, you know, mm -hmm. income. So I'm like, whoa, that's, that's something. She was a wise that's woman. Amazing. She knew. Yes, absolutely. She definitely mm -hmm. was a wise woman, yeah. Very well. So um, I'm going to ask you um, this question. So like if the viewers want to get in touch with you or sure. contact you any way or if they have any questions or even um, want to have a know about of how could they get started? Because mm -hmm. some people, you know, they may want to get started in, sure. in that as well. And look in the camera and sure. tell them. Yeah. Sure. So if people Thank wanted you. to contact me um, mm -hmm. in any way, they can email me at jcampos. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be actually John Carlo. It's spelled J-O-N-C-A-R-L-O. C A M M as in Mary, uh, mm -hmm. P O S at gmail.com. Um, mm -hmm. They can reach me there. Um, they can also reach me on Twitter. Um, my Twitter handle is um, J Rock, J A Y R O C K underscore 89 uh, on Twitter. They can reach me there. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm sure you're going to have a lot because I'm telling you, people, like, like you said, this is really getting up off the ground now. Definitely, yes. And it's, it, hey, this thing may go way. Oh, you, you never know. know. You never yeah. know. And then I won't, I won't forget you. Don't worry. I, won't <laughs> I know that's you right. at all. Yep. Yeah, I know that's right. So this is my ultimate questions that I ask all my guests. Sure. <laughs> this is getting down to the wire. I'm about to close out the show. Um, what makes you happy? Ooh, that's a really good question. <laughs> what makes me happy? Um, mm -hmm. I read a quote once um, in a book where it said, happiness is meant to be shared. Mm. What makes me happy is being able to share um, enjoyment in, in anything in life with someone else. That's what makes me happy. Whoa, mm -hmm. that is amazing. What sustains your happiness? Um, I would say I'm, I, I, I do it myself, um, mm -hmm. finding the beauty in, 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 the, in the ugly. To be mm. honest with you. Oh, that's real good. Mm -hmm. That's strong. I've never heard that mm -hmm. before. Amazing. Wow. 
Mm-hmm. Whether it's something bad you're going through, you know, you can always tell yourself it could be worse, you know. Absolutely. I still have, you know, two arms, two legs, two oh. eyes. I'm able to breathe. Mm. So, you know, you, you're just having a positive attitude towards anything you, you tackle in life. Oh, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> That's so amazing. Mm-hmm. That is so amazing. What a great answer. That was amazing. Thank you so much, John, no for problem. coming out to be It was a pleasure. No problem. Oh, it was just an honor. I feel so great. Like, you know, every time I start the show, I, I come in, I feel, I feel good. And then when I leave, I feel even better. <laughs> That's a great thing. But thank you so much. I would love to have you back out again. Thank you. And talk more about your podcast. Sure. You know, as it develops and sure. it grows. Because I see it doing that. Oh, thank I really you. I appreciate do. it. Hopefully it does. Hopefully yeah. it does. And I'll remember this is one of the places where it all started. Oh, wow. We never forget where we started, never, right? Never. <laughs> yes. And I do. I think I am as a every day. And when I pray, it, I mean it. Mm-hmm. It is such a great blessing to me. Definitely. Yeah. I agree completely. Yeah. So we're going to wrap up the show. That's it, everybody, for today's show. Tip to T. Uh, If you or anyone you know in the Chicagoland area and you would like to come out and promote your brand, come on out and tip to T with me. If you, like I said, if you want to come out and promote your brand, come tip to T with Angela Eskridge. Okay. If you want to follow me or if you need any more details about the show, go to my YouTube channel, type in my name, Angela Eskridge, and leave me a comment below, and I'll get back with you. Don't. Don't forget to please press subscribe. So if you want to come out, make sure you leave me a comment. So I'm looking forward to meeting you. Let's tip the tea with Angie E. See you next time.